Fretboard Map Foundations Part 2 Horizontal Scales. Now, what I'll say to you here is do not fear, okay? I was afraid of these for many years. I'd seen them in different jazz guitar books, especially this one. The Advancing Guitarist by Mick Goodrick. Really amazing book. He takes you on a journey, and his first thing he says in this book is that we play the guitar with these vertical shapes, but we really should play it horizontally. He said, that's the most natural way to play a guitar. If you give a little kid a guitar, he's going to want to play all up and down one string. And he forces you to just play a major scale on one string at a time until you master it. There's no easy way around it. So I'll tell you what my experience was here. One thing you want is a drone or a pedal tone. Maybe I'll post a link here. Just get a nice tone going. So we're doing a G major. You just want a nice G note playing, right? And then you can sort of get into a meditative state. What I recommend here, what's worked for me is go slowly. Do not rush this. Take all the time that you need. Maybe you do this for five minutes a day. Maybe you do one string a day. And after a while, you'll start to notice that it gets easier. It might take you six months. It might take you a year. Gets easier, I promise. So this is one of the two foundational pieces for the fretboard map. You got to learn the vertical scales and you got to learn these horizontal scales. One thing I like to do before I go up and down each string to orient myself is find the root and the fifth everywhere on that string. Since we're in the key of G major, that means we're going to find the note G and the note D. So I very slowly figure out and teach myself where G and D is. So first, I'm going to go through and find G and D. I'm finding the root and the fifth. finding G and D, the root and the fifth. Before I start, I'm going to find, that's right, G and D. And before I go up and down, I'm going to find all of the G's and all of the D's. Okay, 
let's quickly find G and D. find G and D. I'm finding the root and the fifth. Okay, a couple of words before we go. You may have just watched those videos and said, what did I just see? Why did I watch someone showing me with one finger the notes of G major up and down? I don't know what to do with that. Um, I'm gonna go back to Mick Goodrick here and the advancing guitarist. He's not the only one that talks about horizontal scales, but I think he's someone who is a real believer in how important they are. And he goes as far as saying, we put too much emphasis on vertical and not enough on horizontal. And it's very funny. And in his book, he kind of says, yeah, I, I can't really tell you exactly what to do. You have to just experiment, but here's like 20 ideas. Um, and I'm gonna leave you with, with two take takeaways. Use the one finger and also experiment with other combinations of fingers. You can do one and two, one and three. But I'm not going to be very specific because what you're doing here is discovering where the notes are. You're not making up fingerings. You're, you're teaching yourself the ability to see these notes. Just memorize them. This is the G major scale. The fifth, the root, and these are the notes in between and you can see them laid out the way you can on a piano. This is kind of our only opportunity on the guitar to think like a pianist somewhat, right? So teach yourself where they are any way possible. And thing number two is say the names of the notes. This may seem silly, it may seem like a child, but literally go through G, A, B, C. Say the names as you play them, okay? And that actually applies to all sorts of things on the guitar, but those are two things to do here. You don't have to play the notes in order. I suggest doing them in order. You're gonna get bored, you're gonna get burned out. Um, in further videos, as we get into games, now that we're done with the foundations, I'm gonna give you more things to do with this. But for now, put on that drone, or maybe put on some chord changes in the key of G. Memorize the notes of G. Be good at playing them without messing up, okay? Go very slow and be able to play the notes. That's all there is for now. It's frustratingly simple, but that's all there is for now. Zen out. Zen out with G major, and I'll see you soon.